everyone, Joel Hans here, and for today's video, we are going to be in sunny San Diego, yes, sunny San Diego, California, at a place called Rudford, which is a very old kind of 50s style diner. The place actually has been around since the 50s. I'm doing their Big Nick Challenge. So this is a big breakfast burger challenge. It's a breakfast burger. So it is essentially four of their Big Nick burgers, which have hash browns, eggs, a spicy salsa, like a very spicy salsa, also a sausage gravy or like breakfast gravy, whatever you kind of call that, a white gravy nonetheless, um, plus the patty, cheese, sounds very, very interesting. And then we're supposed to have a serving of four ounces of french fries. We'll see if it actually accounts to that. We're gonna have 30 minutes to complete the challenge in order to get the meal for free. And if not, we're facing, I believe it's a $40, 40 or $50 price tag. So with that, we'll uh, head over to the restaurant, we'll get some more details, and let's go eat the food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the burger. It is a little loud in here, so I'll just kind of talk like this. Um, but yeah, basically it's four burgers on top of each other, uh, sausage gravy, eggs, spicy salsa, apparently four ounces of french fries. And uh, that's about that, guys. So we will get started here just momentarily, 30 minutes. Um, that's about that, so yeah, looks good. We're gonna rock and roll in here just as a cool style. All right, everyone, so let's get started. I'm ready, the restaurant is ready. Ready? So I'm ready. gonna put this on its side. I'll take this out. And uh, you are allowed to disassemble it before you start, so that's all good. But anyway, here we go, guys. Big old, big old burger. It smells, I think, spicy? All right, so we have salsa on here, so anyway, how about we get started? I had to sit at this counter, so it's a little awkward, but uh, five, four, let's see, three, two, one. Cheers, let's go. We'll go. Cheese and salsa. Interesting flavor. It's not bad. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we take on a very surprisingly spicy burger challenge. Yes, we have the Big Nick here, which is a spicy breakfast burger. So not only is it unique because it's, well, breakfast, but unique because it's also spicy and breakfast. Actually, there's a surprising amount of heat on that. So pretty straightforward challenge. Like we said, we kind of already went over the rules, but essentially 30 minutes, try to get that free meal, and you do get a t-shirt. Um, as you can see, there is quite a few people on the wall of fame. However, there is many, 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 many more people on the wall of shame. And the hash browns. You know, it kind of reminds me of like an omelet, like a Western omelet or something. They've had the challenge around for many years and uh, is supposed to again be the four burgers with four ounces of french fries. Again, I'll leave that to your discretion whether you think that is four ounces of french fries. They do make you sit at this counter to do the challenge, so despite you know filming and or being in any kind of visible area, um, I was not allowed to sit anywhere but this counter, so hence kind of the slightly different camera angle. Um, let me know what you think of this camera angle though, you know, at, at first I was thinking it was going to be really bad, but I don't know. I mean, let me know what you think, like I said, it, I, I think it could have been worse, we'll put it that way. There were no options to have your burger cooked like medium, medium rare. They just kind of said the burgers and the challenge comes as it comes. I'm a big egg on burger person. Let me down below what we think of eggs on burgers. So furthermore, again, there were no like alterations. Um, there was, I believe, quite a bit of like mayonnaise or something on here. There was something really interesting sauce. Like you had the sausage gravy, and then there was this additional sauce, which I'm querying would have been mayo. Um, and then again, with all the hash browns, the eggs, it was definitely very interesting tasting. Um, they did have their salsa, which I found not to be really flavorful per se, but pack a lot of heat. It kind of seemed like it was straight tomatoes and then maybe like habanero in it. Hot down below. The diner itself was definitely like a preserved 50s diner style feel and hence, I mean, that's literally what it was. Um, they also had a very extensive menu. Uh, of course, I had some ketchup to help these burgers go down. In regards of the difficulty of this challenge, I would say if you actually got four ounces of fries, I think this could be classified as a beginner challenge, with the toughest part being the time limit. It was quite a bit of food, like don't get me wrong, there's a surprising amount of hash browns, a surprising amount of kind of extras on there. But I think like beginner to intermediate if you got four ounces of fries. 
We're at three minutes, ten seconds in. Not bad. Definitely interesting. The hash browns and everything, but... Nice and hot, that's for sure. I'm curious if you have ever had a breakfast burger though, so if you've ever had a breakfast burger, let me know down below and let me know what you thought of it. I've had a couple, but this one, I don't know. I just want to do that belt. Get some extra room. Woo! Never hurts. And that everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Um, so like I said, uh, let me know what you think of breakfast burgers down below. And hopefully we'll be able to complete this meal in the 30 minute time limit to get that free meal and that sweet t-shirt. And maybe actually get up on the wall of fame, but I don't think it was updated. So with that, let's see what happens. So we're probably about maybe 5.45 so in. Woo. I'm pretty full right now, not gonna lie. But we're gonna get this done. Basically, I'm the fries with my mouth. It's an interesting seat, but we're getting her done. What do you think everybody? Is that four ounces of french fries? AKA a quarter pound? Comment down below. Good thing we have the power of ketchup. About 10 minutes in, everybody. Lots of fries and a bun left. Fourteen minutes in, everybody. Ooh. A bun with hash browns. Oh man, kicking my butt.
anyway, we're done there. I'd say somewhere about 16 and a half minutes. We'll get a confirmation. Is that done? There you go. Just Perfect. Finished? I don't run so for that. Uh, we do get a meal for free, which is pretty cool. We get a sweet t-shirt. Um, but yeah, so yeah, very interesting burger. Um, interesting flavors, I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, the salsa was interesting. The, uh, excuse me, the gravy. And yeah, so, Redford, pretty cool restaurant. Again, it's been here for years, 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 years. What, 70, 80 years? 70. 70 years, so it's pretty cool. Um, so for that, we completed the Big Nick. We'll join the people on the wall fame behind me. And with that, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, the next time you have it on Hungry Happy Eating, let me know what you think on this burger down below. Pretty interesting. So, breakfast burger. Spicy breakfast burger. So with that, appreciate you and have a day. Hey everyone, Will Lance here. Today we are downtown, well in Old Town, at the Old Town San Diego State Historic Park. So this area is known for Hispanic cuisine, Hispanic culture, not to mention it's a very old, interesting looking part of the city and it's actually a state park. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit, just gonna be a quick visit today, but uh, pretty cool stuff and uh, you're in for a heck of a treat. So if you like food, you like culture, you like beautiful sights to be seen and maybe haunted stuff, we got them coming your way. Here we have El Champo Campo Santo, which is a cemetery, and the history of it, the holy field. Um, El Campo Santo once included the Adobe Chapel on Conde Street, in which was buried San or Jose Antonio Aguirre, and where funeral services were held for Maria Victoria, uh, Cave Johnson, and many distinguished early San Diegans between 1849 and 1897. 477 people were buried here. Um, Antonio Guerra was the most eminent of many Native Americans interred here. A number of graves relocated um, and a street railway uh, bisected the cemetery. The wall around the portions was built in 1933 and restoration has continued to the present. Interesting. So yeah, lots of history here. Really old graveyard, kind of interesting um, idea to think that at some point they were like, let's just relocate these graves and move them somewhere else so we can build a railway through it or a rail car. So interesting, but again, another piece of history um, to kind of check, which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty uh, interesting, another site here in Old Town.